Hello and welcome again. Well, I'm gonna try to update everything I know now about diamonds and income and how to get good income as you see I have max here now and also how to get a good diamond income both for free to play and also for you guys that have are using Robux. You can also see I'm prepared now. I have a max here ranking now. I also have a max amount of pets. It's 60 and I also can hatch max amount of uh, eggs which is 56 at the moment. So I'm ready for the next update. But how does this all work? So you see we are earning quite okay with diamonds here and if I go in a little bit crazy and use some diamonds in the same we can earn even more. Then, then we can zoom a little bit out here. It looks completely crazy and a very good news now It seems like big games has been fixing this area So things is actually now spawning in again and that looks really really neat and nice now And you can stay hours for hours together with your friend and even with really strong other players as well And you can do everything to try to earn some more diamonds and you see the income diamonds here this is a, as a free to play user. Yes, what are we talking about then? Well, if you go here and look at enchants, I do not have these three enchant slots, as since they are costing Robux, and I'm not using Robux yet on in Pet Simulate 99 because I want to show for this. Rank 11, I'm gonna get immediate with a new app just coming, and oh, my rainy popcat just upgraded. I'm gonna tell about that later on as well. Okay, so let's start on the whole, whole thing. Well, this is one area. The best area for good diamond in now is the strongest area, as I can see. It's even much better than, the, 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 as I understand, the rumor is that it's even better than the um, VIP area already. And this has been in the past. VIP area has always been a good area for the beginning of play. But when you're getting more advanced into play, the damage that you can do to those is not that much and it's gonna just limit you down. So basically from now on out and when you have strong pets, the best area in the game will normally be the best one for earning diamonds. So basically, what do we need to get a lot of diamonds? The whole thing is about doing as much damage to a diamond as possible. And to earn a lot of coins, you want to do as much damage to a coin uh, breakable as possible. So it basically, you want to do as much damage as possible. And to earn diamonds, you want to get spawned as much breakable as possible. To do that, the, the very best thing is the diamond flag. As you see, I've put the diamond flag down here. The diamond flag makes so that it, you get two times more diamond breakable spawns. So trying to actively have a diamond flag down is gonna increase the diamond income tremendously. As you see, it's really good here when I have that out. The other way is to have a lot of damage again, then you break a lot of breakables fast, and the more breakables you break, the more diamonds breakables you will get spawned okay you see the picture so it's all about damage but it's also a little bit about how much diamond you're gonna get in so how do we get max of damage how do we make someone and it's hard to find myself in here how do we get a lot of damage well it starts with the first thing it starts with the pets that you have of course you need to have a strong pet for me I currently have this unicorn. It's not the strongest in game. You also have something called a shiny ag exotic unicorn kitten rainbow one. But this is the strongest I have at the moment. And it's 136.2k. And new updates, you're gonna have a new strong one. So you need to have a strong path. If you have a huge or other exclusives, they will copy this path here. So that is good. If you don't have that, you need to have as many of these strongest paths as possible and gather up that as good as you can. The benefit by having like exclusive, like this popcat ra is a rainbow. So a normal hooch is doing a little bit more damage than this one. A golden hooch is doing much more damage. And a rainbow hooch is doing tremendously more damage. I don't know, it's up to like 10 times almost. The same with a shiny hooch also is doing much more damage. A popcat like this one is doing 95% of the damage to this as normal, but this is a rainbow, so this one does tremendously more damage than this one. It, I, I guess it's maybe, not 10, but maybe 7-8 times more damage 
than this one does. So the easiest way that you can is to go out, buy a lot of uh, rainbow exclusives, especially buy them now, you can get them down to 100k each, so try to buy them, and the best that you can have is to have rainbow a uh, huge pets, right? You see, I even have some rainbow huge evolved pet. I don't see that the evolved is doing any more damage at the moment, but it, probably they maybe will do it in the future. But rainbow huge is doing tremendously of damage. You can see I even have brought over my uh, rainbow pop uni uh, pop cat, and I'm gonna take over more like uh, paint this rainbow here, this rainbow here. And this even that huge Tiki Dominus rainbow, so it's 56 is existing, where is here a rare one? But also the shiny one does tremendous, they do less than a rainbow, but you see they get in the order behind here. The titanium, the titanic here, which is not rainbow, is not doing as much damage as the rainbow huge one. So rainbow huge is doing the most damage, um, uh, shiny huge is doing the second most damage, Golden huge is after that, and normal than titanium, uh, titanic. Of course, if you have a rainbow titanic, but I guess almost close to no one has that. Does le le does does the most huge, uh, the the most of all of it. Okay, so basically that is how it is. And normal huge is also doing more damage than the normal you have. But if you have a lot of these ones here, the system should actually select them. In addition to that. The level the path is. I just brought this over and it become level 7 now in uh, 30 minutes. So it's just 30 minutes it got up to level 70 now because of the damage level I do. This one is already 76 and has a charm inside. But now I've started to, as after I figure out this, I'm gonna start to bring over all the rainbow huge I have in Pet Simulator X. Right? So the pets that you have is the first key to the damage you're gonna do. So have first have the, what, the best hatchable that you can have and then have exclusives in rainbow or huge in rainbow if possible if you can do that okay so that will increase then how do you increase that further okay there is uh, many different factors for that for the items is one one thing rainbow fruit here is helping a little bit you also have um, the dock here that is helping tremendously because it's increasing that uh, um, pets deal damage with 25% is faster, uh, faster, right? So you get almost increase the damage with 25% with having this uh, on. Uh, also remember to get more breakables. It doesn't get increase the damage, but this makes more uh, bre diamond breakables. You can also, of course, have something to increase the pet speed and so on. But this uh, is the one I'm found the best. The flag is there for, for doing that. Then the toy ball is also um, making them go twice as fast for a very short time, so this is like a super boost. And also the toy bone is 10% faster, so this is uh, helping a little bit. And then I add on the different fruits, basically the apple to increase damage is not much, but it's a little bit. The banana uh, boosts the coins, that they do so that you earn more coins. Orange is booting the diamonds, so you earn more diamonds from the diamonds you get, but it doesn't increase the damage. And the pineapple does so that you get more drops and so on for, for that. So that's the first level that you need to put on. The second level is, is your potions. So the better potions you have, like this one, I'm saving this up for the new update. So I'm, as you see down here, I'm not using that really good potions. So I can earn way more diamonds than I already are doing. You see the diamonds going up on the side here. But your potion, the coin potion, it does so that you earn more coins, okay? So it's good, but actually with this setup, with a max coin, I don't, I don't need to use coin potions anymore. To cough there, so sorry for that. So the damage potion th uh, then, that is helping tremendously. So have a damage potion all the time. You see right now, I only have one that does 75%. It's okay. And so remember this Q, right? So I have a damage potion, one in the Q there as well. And then uh, you want to have, um, you can have treasure hunt. Treasure hunt is not going to help anything on damage. It's not going to help anything on income. But it's going to help you to get more potions. To get more of all of these items. And even get more books. Treasure item actually gave me a free fortune book today, actually. So it's crazy. It's crazy good, good that is. But it does not help you to increase your income directly, but indirectly. So if you have too li little of potions, too little of these uh, different things that you had on, then use Treasure Hunter, okay? 
But so and then you have after that you have this a uh, diamond potion. So yeah, I have really poor diamond potion at the moment. I could have way better, better diamond potion. I've been using them up, so that's a problem. So diamond potion would increase the amount of diamonds you get from the breaking balls that you break, okay? So it's not going to increase the damage. But then you also have this one, which is really interesting. Speed potion. This is increasing, increasing the pet speed. That would say that it's speed they both move and attack. So this is also increasing the damage they do. So all of these is increasing the damage. The last step where we are, uh, go of course you're also going to have the charms that you put on the pets, right? But the, the really big one is this charm area. And this is where you're going to get the big difference from free to play like I'm doing right now. So that I can make these free to play guides for you. And to those who have Robux. So I'm going to try to explain how to provide this book. I'm going to explain each and every of these books here. This is a little bit longer video than I normally do. But this is so because... When I say I have one setup, it's almost 100% that you can't be using the same setup. This setup I have now is the best for me when I have these tremendously strong pets. If you don't have these tremendously strong pets, you will need another setup with less of the diamonds book. And you need something to do more damage for you. Okay? And also if you have too little of droppings, drops and so on, you will need another book. Okay, let's go through the books. For that. The first book that I absolutely recommend for everyone to have is to have one fortune book. As I understand, the fortune books is not stacking. So I think the exotic books is not stacking. That means that you, if you even do you have more huge, uh, huge hunter, they don't ex 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 stack. Uh, exotic pack doesn't ex uh, stack, and fortune doesn't uh, stack, and Midas Touch uh, I think also doesn't stack. All other books and shiny hunter doesn't stack. But all the mythicals and every one of the other book, they do stack as I know per today. This may change in future updates, but that is how it is. Ex exotic book do not stack, and mythical and lower book do stack. Okay? So basically, have one fortune book. Why is this? Well, this is doing so that you earn 100% more coins and 40% more diamonds. Basically, it is the same as have one diamond tier five, diamond five, and one coin five book so into here. So basically, you get two books into one slot. That's the benefit with the fortune, and that is probably why it doesn't stack because it's already stacked two books into one slot. Then for your second slot, I go for diamond because I have so tremendously of damage in the background, um, but. For you, what you need to think about is the, the following. You need to have tremendous of damage as priority one. To get more out of those dry diamond drop and coin drop is priority two, okay? So, but I would always believe two box of these is better than any of damage as well. So, let's go through the other one. Coins. Increase the, um, uh, the number of coins you earn from breakable by 100. So the coin 5 will not make you more earn more damage. It will only give you more alpha there. So if you have already poor damage, this will not be a good book to use. Okay? So, but it could be a good book to increase your coin for that. So I will not recommend to have this to increase damage. You have the critical 5. 50% uh, chance your pet includes uh, a critical strike that do 5 times more damage. This book is really really good so this is the first one if i would to take out one diamond i would be putting on a critic for me because that's going to make my pets do tremendously more damage and they're going to break more breakables because that's going to help breaking the breakables faster that makes that get more spawns and that means more diamond breakable spawns so this can this this one here and one diamond book for me is more, almost the same but I recommend critical is really, really good to increase your damage of your team. Okay? So let's go for the next one then. Diamonds. Uh, then we create diamonds is the next one. Increase the number of diamonds you earn from breakable by 40%. So again, this does not increase your power, the total power of your pet. So it will not increase any amount more diamond spawn and so on. This will just add on to the already income that you have so it becomes more. So if you don't have strong enough pets and you don't feel as good enough what you have, do not use more of this one. Then the next one is Lucky Egg. Of course that is only for egg hatching. 
only egg hatching. Increase your egg lock by 100%. It says egg, so it means it probably also work on exclusive egg as well. I don't know, I haven't checked that because I haven't bought a single exclusive egg, but it doesn't say specific uh, in-game egg or plague egg or something, it says eggs. So that should mean exclusive eggs as well, but it's in, not in the equation here because it doesn't give more pet damage. Then you have speed 5, increase player and pet speed by 100%. Okay, that doesn't mean that you are just moving, because then it would state it will increase your move speed. Like you have done here, you see pet walk speed by 3%, okay? This increase both uh, the attack speed, walk speed and all the different speed. So this is increasing the damage of your team. So they will do faster damage, they move around faster between the breakables and they do more damage, to, uh, faster damage to the breakables. So speed is a very good one, just like the critical. Maybe, not, I don't know if it's just as good as the critical, but it is not far away from it. So this will increase your damage. Then you have stronger pet 5. Increase the, the strength of your pet by 75%. Look at this one, you can take 15 times 5, it's 75. And this also is 75. So stronger pets 5 will make all your pets 75% stronger. So if they are already quite strong and you add this, they will be much much more stronger. They do much much more damage to the breakables and they, they get much much more diamond breakables in because you break them faster. So this will increase your basic income from gold and from diamonds. That will be much much more better to add on the fortune. So in this way you maybe could have like, you can have the fortune in this one, and if you take away this, you can have a strong pet, and you can have a critical pet as well. So you have to test a little bit to see when is the threshold to go over to add on the diamonds, rather than add on the damage, okay? But, and so on. Then the next one is Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter, I think many people is misunderstanding. This increases your chance of drop breakables by 30%. This does not increase your damage, it does not increase your speed, it does not increase your income. This does secondly increase your income, secondly increase your damage, because it gives you more droppable, like the items in here, it could be anything, it could be anything in the potion, it could be new enchant books, as you, I say, I got a fortune book from it. So they are really good to use when you are collecting um, uh, collectibles. So that is that is good, okay? So, but it's not helping on anything on damage. Lightning book, I don't use those things uh, here, but it's they basically when you're tapping, you do more damage and so on. So if you want to sit tapping all the time, it's yeah, that's okay. But AFK play gives much more income because you can stay much more and play much more than active gameplay does because you can't do active gameplay 24 hours a day, right? And then you have, uh, let me see, the, the next book that we are then going to look into, of course, you have the blast and it's not very good. The next one is dime, is magnet. The maximum levels magnet is 3. Is magnet important? Magnet is a must. Unless you are going to run around here all the time, gathering, I'm actively running around. Oh, somebody went out there, somebody went out there. At the moment, at this time of the game, unless they are adding more of these on it here, that is magnet. If you get more of those in the future, the magnet maybe get obsolete. But I guess they maybe will come with bigger areas or something like that, or more heavy drops or something like that. But at for at the moment, after an upgrade, it's now 15th of December. Per now, the magnet is absolutely must to have. Okay. So this is for us, and next update we will get rank 11. As you see, I have rank uh, 10 now and max it, so I will get rank 11 uh, in just one day, and that will be good. And then I can add one more book. But here is the big difference between play to win and pay to win, okay? So, and we should be so good glad because there are uh, pay to win in this game still, right? I know it is hard, it's gonna be hard to get on leaderboards and stuff like that, but that is how it is in most games for play to, pay, play to win. If you wanna test a game that you want to play to win, go test Collector Pets. It's another game I've covered, you find all the video, rebirth guide, everything. That's a game you can actually play, play to win, okay? 
For this one, it will always be a pay to win, but the thing is that Preston has made it so now, it is possible to play play to win as well, to, and do well. That you can see with the setup I have, you can see I have everything maxed, I'm ready for the next one, I'm I even gonna play another game together with this account, I can still do it. But for the pay to win guys, you have three, can have up to three additional slots. So what should you have in these slots here? I would believe that it would be good for you to have one fortune, maybe two diamonds here and a magnet up here. In these slots down here, I would have one critical, I would have one stronger path, and <sighs> what should else have? The tap damage, I didn't cover that one. That, of course, if you tap big chest and stuff like that, that is helping tremendous on that. It doesn't help on anything else. But I think, I, I wouldn't, I, maybe, I want one speed, yeah. I would have one critical, one pet stronger pet, and one speed. And then sometimes if you get um, lack of uh, items and, and potions and enchants and, and charms, then I would add, um, uh, where are that book now? Where is that book? It should, should they be here somewhere? There, tap power, no, no. There, treasure hunter. Then I would add a treasure hunter instead of the. I would, I would get maybe instead of the strong, uh, strong pet five. Maybe be that uh, uh, you can check. It maybe is better to take out the speed one, but maybe the strong pet five is the one that is least important for you guys because you can make your team strong with the three down here, and then you can increase the income with the top ones here. I would believe that is the best of setup that you can do. Uh, you can also even try to take wo out one of these and, and add one and other one and so on. But I would guess if you have a play to win account, you can earn up to three times more diamonds than I can do. So if I, in let's say in the time spam, I am putting out one flag. Let me put out a flag here. Like in the time span of those five minutes, I can earn, I can earn um, 5k maybe per minute. I think you can easily earn 10 to 15k at least, maybe up to 20k per minute. But that again is going to come back to the first basic. It's going to come back to what pets you have. Remember, I have also really good huge pets now, and I'm going to build up a really good huge pets. That's the benefit for me. I'm good. I'm really good in Pet Simulator X, right? If you go check pa pa Pet Power in Pet Simulator X, you will find me on spot six at the moment. I have actually a realistic chance to get to top spot three now because of these really strong players. A friend of mine is now moving over the pets and so on. Normally, I am top seven between seven and ten in Pet Simulator X, quite decent. And I have 1,000 huge in Pets and Max. And I have hundreds of, of rainbow pets. And I'm going to transfer these over the last, the next six months. It's going to take a long time for me to do that. But basically, I, I hope this is helping you to understand a little bit more about how the game physics is working now. How damage is. So damage is the key. So everything is about how much damage you have. And when you have a certain amount of damage to a certain balance point, then you can start add on those that give you more diamonds and more coins so start with damage then add on with more diamonds and coins for that thank you this was number one game of that viper Toffee. like and subscribe and i hope to see you back here in the next video i will keep you updated thank you and bye bye